Finally, we have been given a time frame and a concrete answer on Rangers using Hamden for the start of the 2024-2025 season. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Football, and it has been confirmed by the Scottish FA. We've known for a while now that Rangers were going to probably use Hamden. We just didn't know how long they were going to use it for, and now we do. The Scottish FA have confirmed that Rangers will use Hamden as their home stadium up until Scotland host Poland in the Nations League, which is on September 5th. Now, Rangers still might not have Ibrox ready by that stage, which begs the question here, will they have to maybe renew some sort of deal? Will they have to extend this Hamden relationship if they are not ready by that time possibly but right now the deal with Rangers using Hamden Park will go up until the 5th of September and that's when Scotland will obviously go back to using Hamden Park there will be an international break at that time anyway so it's not like Scotland or Rangers fixtures will clash and I'm assuming that if Ibrox is still not ready then Rangers will continue using Ibrox after the match against Poland. So, league matches against Mullerwell and Ross County on the 10th and 24th of August will be played at the National Stadium, while there are other potential home fixtures in Europe and the Premier Sports Cup. The Scottish FA has revealed the arrangement runs until Scotland hosts Poland in the Nations League on the 5th of September. The governing body also say Rangers are committed to pay for an accelerated pitch growth programme to make sure the Hamden grass is ready for the Scottish Premiership kickoff. So Rangers having to pay for what? Accelerated pitch growth programme? What the hell is that? How much money does that cost? And, and Rangers are the ones who have to, have to fork it out. You know, they're the ones who have to pay for it. I, I mean, I, I guess it makes sense. Why should Scotland pay for it when we, Scotland, weren't expecting to use Hamden up until the 5th of September. So if Rangers need to use it, then I guess it's on Rangers to pay for this. So yeah, Rangers will be paying for an accelerated pitch growth program. Again, no idea how much that costs. I would think not so much, but in football, I mean, you never know. Could be could be thousands, could be like 10,000, 20,000. Could be more than that. I don't know. I'm not familiar with that. Um, a statement from Rangers says the club is continuing to work tirelessly on completing work to the Copeland stand as soon as possible. As soon it continues, quote, as soon as the club can provide a definitive update on match of returning to our home, it will do so. End of quote. And you also have the small matter of Queen's Park, who have a prior agreement to use Hamden from September. They will switch the day of their championship meeting with Livingston to the evening of Friday the 9th of August at their city stadium, which is next door to the national stadium on the south side of Glasgow. So, looks like uh, Rangers here are getting preferential treatment over Queen's Park. Queen's Park are having to move games, postpone games that they would be playing at Hamden and they're having to play them at Lesser Hamden which, I mean, Queen's Park don't really need to use Hamden anyway. It's not like they can sell Hamden out or anything like that. So I don't think it's a big deal. Will Queen's Park be compensated for not being able to use Hamden though? Will Rangers have to pay Queen's Park money? Uh, that's a whole nother story perhaps. But yeah, as of right now, Rangers will definitely be using Hamden up until the 5th of September and then possibly after the Nations League game they might go back to using Hamden if Ibrox is not ready by that stage but there seems to be no further updates on how long they expect this work to take, the construction work. Surely they must have a time frame in mind, you know, I don't know why they can't just say we expect it to be finished by this time. I get it. If, if they give you a time and they don't have the work done by then, then people will be pissed. But, you know, I think it will piss people off even more just sitting here not knowing. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Rangers, like I said, some big important games at the start of the season, especially in Europe. 
They would want those European nights at Ibrox. They're not going to have them. Can they get the same sort of uh, atmosphere? Can they get the same sort of like home ground advantage at Hamden? We'll have to wait and find out. They're still going to have a packed out stadium full of their fans, but it's not quite the same, you know, because it's not Ibrox. Hamden is not Ibrox. So we'll have to wait and see what happens, guys. But there you go. little update on uh, Rangers there. I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, peace.